Hey, all we need is good beer, John Deere, and John 316, <laughs> Bubby. Goose just needs to maintain that for six months just to convince everybody in chat that that's who he truly is, and then just knock <laughs> off the accent. Just blow everybody's mind. Well, let's start right now. <laughs> Draw your last breath, so Avio. Operation China Dynasty. Uh, no. Operation Scrambling the Gambling. Whack. Operation Ying Buff. Are you even trying anymore? Operation Delete Cavera. That might actually work. Wow, I'm impressed. Go at this! Ordinarily, I like to keep my Rainbow Six videos dedicated to operators because to me, what makes Seed special are the one-of-kind characters that each bring something special to the table. Hey! Y'all got maple syrup? We just ran out. But with the aesthetic changes that has everybody mad at China and the raging hype for Operation Nerf Bastion, I figured it was about time to make a video not dedicated to an operator. What? Why? Are we not special now? Plus, it gives me an opportunity to share the best moments that don't quite fit into the theme of other videos. Like Castle violently TK and Cap Can with a shotgun blast while he simultaneously drops a martyrdom impact grenade on Zafia while she's simultaneously punching the ground trying to revive herself. How am I supposed to fit that in a video? What? <laughs> Still got her. Still got her. Please show her from my point of view. Still Damn it. Still got her. Uh. Friendly! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Damn. Oh my god. All that matters. Fucking beat. I don't even need to know what happened. Momentum. I just it saw friendly fire of a shotgun and an explosion, and three people died. That's all that I needed to see. <laughs> Before I start, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video. Simply put, it's a service that I know and love that delivers farm fresh ingredients in exact quantities with a recipe in a refrigerated box right to your door. So you can cook yourself a mouth-watering meal. No waiting in line at the grocery store and no wasted ingredients. So let's get vit- oh. oh, cooking. Let's get cooking. I thought it was gonna say let's get this bread. They've got two person plans and family plans with eight recipes to choose from every week so you can go simple or you can go fancy with everything in between. Because the beef and broccoli I chose was quick to make and even quicker to disappear because I inhaled every delicious bite like a vacuum cleaner. There's no commitment so you can skip a week or cancel at any time and the first 100 of you to sign up via the link below right down there will get 50 bucks off of your first two weeks. I highly recommend it. Thanks again to Blue Apron. I love you guys. Now I just wish that convincing my buddies to stop eating garbage and sign up was as easy as whipping up one of these recipes. Burger King is ever so healthier because it's grilled. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I get extra I get extra mayo just to lubricate my arteries, homie. <laughs> Healthy Fine. doesn't equal good. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the most, that's the most American phrase that I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the, what the fuck is this by. green shit? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this salad named after a dude that was stabbed? Who we'll put grass on my burger? The only plant I, I want like in my burger rabbit. is portobello mushrooms, and that ain't even a plant because it's delicious. <laughs> the most American phrase ever uttered. Healthy doesn't equal good. But Merka isn't the hot topic of Rainbow Six nowadays. That's reserved for China. Specifically, people are angry that changes may be coming to the game next season in order to comply with the standards of Asian territories, which I can translate for you. Chinese standards. Apparently, these are purely aesthetic changes of art and visual. Instead of a knife melee icon, it's a fist. Instead of a skull death icon, it's an X on the chest. Gambling and blood goes away, skulls are replaced with masks, and suggestive stuff is replaced with dead memes. <laughs> Got him. Wait, are you sure you guys are removing skulls? Didn't you guys just add that Jaeger head? Rattle me bones! Okay, three things. As a general rule, I do think it's dumb to acquiesce to the whims of a tyrannical foreign power, especially government, no matter if it's China or the Cobra Command. You better shut your mouth before the Cobra Commander imprisons you. But I do want Siege to be available to as many people as possible, not only in Asia, but the entire world, because I love Rainbow Six and want people to share in the same joys of the game that's had me hooked for nearly two years. Hey, hey look, I just spawn feed somebody from a different continent. Most importantly, I'm gonna suspend any major judgment until I play it next season, and the reason why is simple. What Ubisoft say 
say they are going to do versus what actually happens are typically different things. Their planning usually doesn't match up exactly with their execution. So I say just take it easy and reserve judgment until we play it. I can't tell you in advance how the game is going to play or feel until I've soaked it in with the changes. So if it ends up being just a few cosmetic tweaks with no influence on the core of Siege, eh, no big deal. But if Kibera ends up getting deleted from the game like the T-posing recruit that's straight bowling on Yacht, then we're gonna have some problems. This dude in chat is so mad they took away the T-posing guy on, <laughs> on Yacht. <laughs> they took him away. I'm so sad. I swear, no, I swear. 100% that is your fault, Badger. What, what, I want to happen now, what I want to happen now is I just want to log in to the retail version once this patch goes live, and he's just back there with like a more <laughs> firm, with a firmer t He's, he's grown like in size. He's like the size of Godzilla. <laughs> With every patch, I go grow stronger. <laughs> I grow stronger. And then eventually it's gonna form into something that's not even like a model. It's just six gonna be patches like, from now. You cowards will yeah. never stop yeah. me. In totally unrelated news, I'd like to announce that I'm maining Ying and Legion for all of next season. This has nothing to do with China or Hong Kong. Here we go. Here we go, chat. You can let that go in. Yo! Hey! Got him. I don't know where anybody else is, but I'm planting. I'm so ready. We're doing it! I'm so it. ready! Yes, got him! Yes. I was free firing with a shotgun. Look at this. Look at this. I know you there, girl. I saw your <laughs> face. I saw you. <laughs> I just think that Ying is best girl, and Legion's cargo shorts prove the tactical obsolescence of Persis. Oh, it'll sting a lot. On a serious note, whatever happens, guys, please do not send hate towards China, because a country's government and a country's people are not the same thing, and you shouldn't automatically hate one just because you hate the other, or, you know, the dumb rules they have. So although I love to crack jokes about how unwelcoming siege players can be to new players, hey, this is how we roll right here. If you don't like it, you can leave. Brother. Gang gang ooh has left the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. My oh bad. My God, how dare you? This is a welcoming place. Now get the hell out of here, boy. We should welcome anybody that wants to play Rainbow Six that isn't horribly toxic or a cheater. End of serious stuff. And no matter how much you guys may hate Goobysoft right now, at least they're not Blizzard. Because I don't know if you guys saw the latest announcements about their new mobile game. Do you guys not have phones? I had to wait 14 hours for a response, and the first thing they say is, wow, you've been playing this game since 05. That's cool. And then the next line is just, no. <laughs> thank you for thank you for asking for help with Blizzard's customer service. Let me know if you need anything else. Let me know if you need another no. <laughs> <laughs> you use your little wow. brother to harvest gold and wow? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go home, or is, I gotta go is, that like IR, is that IRL BMing? Is that child labor? Is that against the law? <laughs> nah, bro, I feed them with like, like Gushers I give him a snicker. Gushers. Yeah, gushers. Gushers. gushers and turn on Nickelodeon. And he's good for like eight hours, bro. On that note, anytime that I play with Heavenly, oh, excuse me, I mean the man formerly known as Heavenly. <laughs> How am I supposed to make an advertiser-friendly video when the first person, no, the second person that I'm inviting is Lord Headass? How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> it's even like an Undertale reference. How could you possibly make your name worse? I forgot you just got sponsored too, hey bro. I'm sorry for ruining hey, your bro. Hey, bro. Anytime I play with a man who will not be named, I'm reminded that we still don't have an operator from Brooklyn, which, if you ask me, could be a really valuable addition to the game. Wh what you mean you don't pronounce the G in sandwich? What you talking about, homie? <laughs> DNG, what you mean? <laughs> Bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll is one word. That's that's a mandatory obstacle on the way to any employment and or school in New York. There has to be a puddle full of paint that you can step over in your Tims. <laughs> he knows too much. <laughs> you can't know that kind of information and be kept alive. The entire state of New York, and hey, where you at, B? And I know everybody is excited about the two new Moroccan operators in the new map, which looks incredible as a part of Operation Wind Bass. Bastion, well, I'm just sitting here sobbing that they didn't add my buddy Goose as an operator. Because he has some real potential in special forces. I've never seen what Goose looks like, but what I've gathered is that he's built like a milk jug and possibly a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my uncle's gonna come by and go see my daddy. 
Is that really what the whole like family dinner sounds like? No, dude. dude no. What really it just sounds. It just sounds like a bunch of people vaping while not talking to each other. <laughs> so, uh, Goose, how, how's school been? How's school been? I dropped out of school four years ago to work on cars, Daddy. You know that. So, Goose, are you gonna go to the vape Olympics? Because I'll cheer you Fucking on. Vape go. Olympics. Okay, no time out. I didn't know about this. I'm interested. It's literally a competition of who can rip the fattest clouds. Fattest dude, that's clouds. like my. That's my religion. Like, I'm about it. Ripping the fattest cloud? The yeah. fattest cloud. Cloud rippers for life. For biggest oh, yeah, cloud gets $10,000 no. in but popcorn lung. Whatever you do, do not believe the operator leaks, because plenty of them are fake. Like the ones claiming there was a sniper rifle on defense with a set of binoculars? Come on. If there was an operator with a sniper rifle, specifically an intervention on defense, the spawn peaks would be so outrageous that Jaeger would jump off the roof of house and delete himself from the game and protest. And finally, what would this video be without cyberbullying from Cavera? Because with their skull face paint and name literally meaning skull in Portuguese, I sincerely hope that she isn't ruined by these potential changes. You wanna play RuneScape Mobile with me? Let me hold a V-Bug. Whatever. Maverick is making a hole in the wall. Oh. Uh, the one directly in front of you. Fuck it up, gross. Okay, I got them both. Here comes number one! Go on, sir. Oh, he's on the wing. Uh, oh, I forgot that she could do that. Last shit. one's on the wing. Oh, whoa, whoa. Probably okay. super low. I got him. He's injured. He's injured. Got Send him. It. Got him. Ah. Got him. <laughs> nice. Makes fun of his IQ earlier in stream. Admits to being slow. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to deny it. Is Ash with her, do you think? I'm a simple break. Uh, I love that she's jumped through possibly. there. I'll interrogate her. Sure. Why not? That was such a good shot. Basically, I downed Hibana and she was like, yeah, she cheated from a hat to try to escape. Oh, God. And that's about it. I would like to thank you so very much for watching. One final thank you to Blue Apron for sponsoring this video. And don't forget that knives are sharp. Because I took out this big knife to cut up the beef. And as I was cutting over the package, I realized that it was already pre-cut for you. And I thought, wow, that was dumb. And then I just cut my thumb. So be sure to tune in next time when we buy some Band-Aids.